أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم chapter 35 originator inni name of allah the gracious the merciful praise be to allah originator of the heavens and the earth maker of the angels messengers with wings double triple and quadruple He adds to creation as he will. Allah is able to do all things. Tafsir. So imagine this uh, some nice powerful verses because it tells you for example there are angels messengers with wings. Some of them have double, some have triple, and some have quadruple wings. And even if you look at the insects, some have even quadruple wings. You know, he adds to creation as he wills. That means, you know, what is created, he is not done creating. He is adding creation. So when you see new things, God is no, God is adding creation. And verse two, whatever mercy Allah unfolds for the people, none can withhold it, and if he be withholds it, none can release it thereafter. He is the exalted in power, full of wisdom. O oh, people, remembers Allah's blessings upon you. Is there a creator other than Allah who provides for you from the heaven and the earth? There is no God but He. So how are you misled? Tafsir. The provision of human beings, we are just mediums through it. But God is the originator, just like the originator of this verse. This chapter is called originator, but originator in creation, originator in provision as well. That is what God does. But we are mediums. We have human mediums, and the human mediums they have to be appreciated, respected, but not worshipped. They also have to understand is the originator that is using them as mediums. Verse four. If they reject you, messengers before you were also rejected. To Allah, all matters are returned. O oh people, the promise of Allah is true. So let not the lowly life seduce you, and let not the tempter tempt you. Then let the tempter tempt you away from Allah. Satan is an enemy to you, so treat him as an enemy. He only invites his gang to be among the inmates of the inferno. Those who disbelieve will suffer harsh punishment, but those who believe and do righteous deeds will have forgiveness and a great reward. You see, again, believe and do righteous deeds. And with the disbelievers, it didn't mention on this one that they do wrong deeds. But obviously, most of the time, the disbelievers, you will see that they will either skip certain righteous deeds, certain good deeds, or they will do some evil deeds that they wouldn't even want you to escort each other to truth on them. Sometimes, you know. Some of them you have to have patience, but sometimes you have to escort each other on certain evil. Verse eight: What of him whose evil deed was made attractive to him, and so he regards it as good? Allah leads astray whomever He wills, and He will guide whomever He wills. Therefore, do not waste yourself sorrowing over them. Allah knows exactly what they do. Allah knows what they do. So if Africa thinks that we need to worry about America, don't worry. Allah knows what they do. If America thinks that they need to worry too much about Africa, don't worry. Allah knows what we do. If you believe in, you know, that the God will punish us. Verse nice. Oh, God will punish them. 
verse 9 Allah is he who sends the winds which agitate clouds and which we drive we drive a dead land and thereby revive the ground after it had died likewise is the resurrection whoever desires honor all honor belongs to Allah to him ascends speech that is pure and he elevates righteous conduct as for those who plot evil a terrible punishment awaits them and the planning of this will fail again tafsir whoever desires honor all honor belongs to allah and this is an amazing thing they are human beings who compete for honor they are human beings who compete for money they are human beings who compete for um children on children you know there are diff different things you know men how many men they have calling them or wanting to be with them and things like that all of those are kind of competitions and most of those ones also even if they want one person sometimes they compete on honor in the wrong way and you see he's saying all honor belongs to allah to him ascend speech that is pure a speech that is pure and he elevates righteous conduct you know what speech can be much more purer than uh, Al Quran? What speech can be much more purer than some truth that you experience in real life? But those who counter what we are saying, he said, as for those who plot evil, a terrible punishment awaits them, and the planning of this will fail of those people, basically. Verse 11 Allah created you from dust, then from a small drop, then He made you pass. No female conceives or delivers except with His knowledge. No living thing advances in years, or oh, its life is certain, except it be in a record that is solely easy for Allah. Um, coincidentally, today. I was watching the news and there was a female who conceived according to the media um, days apart or weeks apart I do not I do not remember exactly what happened but basically he was pregnant she was pregnant and pregnant again inside the pregnancy it doesn't happen very much but you can check it out um, if I am right I think it was either on CNN or BBC um, verse 12 the two seas are not the same one is fresh sweet good to drink while the other is salty and bitter yet from it you eat tender meat and extract jewelry which you wear and you see the seas plowing through them so that you may seek of his bounty so that you may give thanks again I'm just talking about the seas you know salty water and sweet water and this is a description of what we do sometimes people take what we do as what we should do as well um, what we do when God describes what we do is describing what we do it does not necessarily mean that that is what we should do in total everything or we cannot go higher verse 13 he merges the night into the day and he merges the day into the night and he regulates the sun and the moon each running for a stated time such is allah your lord his is the sovereignty as for those you call upon beside him they do not possess a speck if you pray to them they cannot hear your prayer and even if they heart they will not answer you and on the day of resurrection they will reject your partnership none informs you like an expert so here the word expert is used in this translation it is likely right because expert is someone who have knowledge on something yeah and who is the best of the expert lord of the universe he gave those that things to some other experts on this wall and it descends to, to different people all around the world oh people 
It is you who are the poor in need of Allah, while Allah is rich, the praiseworthy. Allah is rich, the praiseworthy. If He will seek and do away with you and produce a new creation, and that will not be difficult for Allah. And here is talking to everybody, all people. You know. No burden soul can carry the burden of an other, even if one weighted down calls for help with its burden, nothing can be lifted from it. Even if they were related, you are to one those who fear their Lord inwardly and perform the prayer. He who purifies himself purifies himself for his own good. To Allah is the ultimate return. You see? Here it is very specific. It's not talking about no soul can help no soul, but he say no burden soul can carry the burden of an order. But again, you can see all the time it's always better to go directly to the Lord God of the universe. You know, when you go directly to the Lord God of the universe, even the soul that may have been given be given the power to intercede. That soul is going to love you more because he's, that soul is also going to understand that that soul is dependent on the Lord of the universe. Not equal are the blind and the sin, no are the darkness and the light, no are the seed and the torrid heat, no are the equal, the living and the dead. Allah causes whomever he wills to hear, but you cannot make those in the graves here. You cannot make those in the graves here. So what message? The message that I have today. Nobody who is in the graves can hear it. If you're looking at it, graves in the physically. If you're looking at it, graves in mentally, that is, for example, once I put it on the internet and all whatnot, some will understand and some wouldn't understand. Some will hear, some wouldn't hear. So he is saying those when they are also they are living but they are in graves. They will not hear. You are only a warner. Everybody is a warner. We are different warners. We are some of us are religious warners, some of us are secular warners and all whatnot. You know. But everybody is a warner, one way or the other. If you one way if you live, you generally warn. But especially if you are reading the Quran, because when you are reading the Quran, you dare not. You dare not. If you are a true believer, you dare not ridicule the Quran. You know, you may have righteous or wrong interpretation in whatever it is, but even while you're reading it, you will read it exactly as you saw it, especially if it is in Arabic. But most of us who are genuine also, when we're reading it in English, we read it as the auto wrote it, and you will tell you what we believe needs to change or how we understand it verse 24 we send you with the truth a bearer of good news and a warner there is no community but a warner has passed through it if they disbelieve you those before them also disbelieved their messengers came to them with the clear proofs with the psalms and with the enlightening scripture then I seized those who disbelieve, so how was my rejection? Have you not seen that Allah sends down water from the sky? With it we produce fruits of various colors, and in the mountains are streaks of white and red, varying in their hue and pitch black. Have you not seen that Allah sends down water from the sky? With it we produce fruits of various colors. And in the mountains are streaks of white and red. You know, for those of us who never saw mountains with streaks of white and red, go around the world and see if there are mountains with streaks of white and red, varying in their hue and pitch black. Verse 28. Likewise, human beings, animals and livestock come in various colors. <laughs> From among his servants he learned fear. The landed from his servants the land fear Allah. Allah is almighty, often forgiving. I'm not sure if this 
translation is really right. From among his servants, the land fear Allah. Uh, basically, he's talking about those who have knowledge fear Allah. So, um, that is supposed to be the way it's supposed to be. Allah is almighty, often forgiving. Those who recite the book of Allah and perform the prayer and spend of what we have provided for them secretly and publicly, expect a trade that will not fail. So, okay. So, this one, regardless of, in this chapter, this is the key thing for the believers. If you are one of those who recite the book of Allah, obviously recite, but try to understand it too. It's very, very good. It helps you in so many things. And perform the prayer and make prayers. And spend of what we have provided for you, for them, secretly and publicly. Expect a trade that will not fail. Basically, whatever good you do, you do, you will get that good, that good. But the more you know, the more you do, the more you will get also. So do as much as you can. Verse 30. He will pay them their dues in full and will increase them from his bounty. He is forgiving and appreciative that we inspired in you of the book is the truth confirming what preceded it. Allah is well informed of his servants all seeing. Then we pass the book to those of our servants whom we choose. Some of them wrong their souls, and some follow a middle course, and some are in the foremost in good deeds. By Allah's leave, that is the greatest blessings. This is also one of my favorite verses in the Quran because it divides the, the people, the servants. He said, then we pass the book to those of our servants whom we choose. This Quran, when I send it out, God will have to decide to who and who basically will get this Quran. He said, some of them wrong their souls. So imagine it be it Muhammad, be it me, be it you, whoever is getting it. He said, some of them wrong their souls. Those who will receive this or some the, the original Quran with Muhammad. He said, some of them run their souls and some follow a middle course and some are in the foremost in good deeds. Here it is divided into three. And the same three groups of people is also what we have in chapter 56, Surah Waqiyah. You know, we will discuss a whole lot more. There's another great chapter we will discuss later. Um, verse 33. The gardens of Eden which they will enter, they will be adorned therein with gold bracelets and pearls, and their garments therein will be of silk, and they will say, Praise Allah who has lifted all sorrow from us. Our Lord is most forgiving, most appreciative. He who settled us in the home of permanence, by his grace, where boredom will not touch us and fatigue will not afflict us. As for those who display for them is the fire of hell, wherein they will be finished oft and die, nor will its punishment be lightened for them, thus we will repay every ingrate, and they will scream therein, our Lord let us out, and we will act righteously, differently from the way we used to act. Did we not give you a life long enough in which anyone who wanted to understand would have understood? And the one that did come to you, so taste the evil doers will have no helper. Amazing verse. You can relate to this part of it even right here on earth. You see? Human beings, you have kind of rules and regulations at the home level, at the government level, you know, employer level, government level, and at the universal level, the God level. But if you look at it from a low level, for example, the prisoners, some of them, um, they were extremely wrong. It doesn't necessarily mean everybody in prison today is, is strong. 
because we have political prisoners, different type of political prisoners. We do have people who are there for marijuana in one country and on other one um, uh, for alcohol or something else. So obviously you cannot interpret everything just in this world, especially if you believe God and this Quran came for both this world and the next world. But there has to be verses that you can relate things in this world. And you will hear most of the criminals, they regret doing certain acts. And that is the same way universally also, we have to avoid the uh, respecting kind of act that will get us in trouble with the Lord. And you can see the rest is definitely focused on the hereafter. Did we not give you a life long, a life long enough in which anyone who wanted to understand will have understood? You know, so each matters a great deal and timing. You know, even good governments, they don't punish children. You know, they punish only adults, you know. The same thing with God is even much more nicer. Um, but that doesn't mean that you leave the child basically to do whatever because God punishes both on earth and in heaven. So, and we do see the children in some way, he does seemingly punish them right here. Or do we believe that it is the parents who are basically wrong and that was why the children are kind of suffering through the parents? All of those things are possible, only God knows. Verse 39. It is he who made you successors on earth. Whoever disbelieves, his disbelief will recoil upon him. The disbelief of the disbelievers adds only to their lords disfavor of them. The disbelief of the disbelievers adds only to their perdition. So basically, when you disbelieve, you get less favor from the Lord. That's what this is saying. Say, have you considered those partners of yours that you worship instead of Allah? If you never worship any partner instead of Allah, you know, be it a human being, be it, you know, some kind of a prophet, be it whatever you think, don't worry too much what it is saying next, you know, because this, there are verses that are talking to disbelievers, there are verses that are talking to the hypocrites, there are verses that are talking to the believers. You focus as a believer on the verses, but you also try to look the verses and how it relates to the disbelievers what they especially on things they say and uh, that will show you that the quran is very accurate in describing how disbelievers act how hypocrites act and everything show me what they have created on earth or do they have any share in the heavens or have we given them a book whose clear teachings they follow in fact the wrongdoers promise one another nothing but delusions allah holds the heavens and the earth lest they fall apart and where they to fall apart there is none to hold them together except he he is most clement most forgiving and they swore by Allah with their solemn oaths that if a warner came to them, they would be more guided than any other people. Yet when a warner came to them, it only increased them in aversion, pride in themselves on the earth, and seeming evil. But evil seeming overwhelms none but its authors. Do they expect anything but the precedent? of the ancients you will not find any change in Allah's practice and you will not find any substitute to Allah's practice they have not journeyed in the land and observed the fate of those who preceded them they were superior to them in strength but nothing can defeat Allah in the heavens or on earth he is indeed omniscient and omnipotent. If Allah were to punish the people for what they have earned, He will not have left a single living creature on its service, but He defies them until a stated time. Then when their time has arrived, Allah is observant of His creatures. Sadaqallah al A charity from the blessed Lord the supreme may the best of it be upon us 
may God improve our understanding to the best of the level and forgive any possible sin to either the reciters or the listeners as many as possible.